What happens after the Soviet Union collapses? What happens to U.S. foreign policy in this period? <clears throat> My argument to build on Seth's question is, is that if you're in a bipolar system or a multipolar system, you cannot pursue liberal hegemony. You have to pursue a realist foreign policy because by definition, great power politics matters because there are more than one great power in the system. So during the Cold War, the United States acted in a largely realist fashion vis-a-vis -vis the Soviet Union. Cold War ends, the Soviet Union collapses, and the United States emerges as the most powerful state on the planet. And balance of power considerations largely go out the window because there's no rival great power. The United States is incredibly powerful. So the question is, what do we do? And for a country like the United States that has liberalism wired into it, it's hardly surprising, given how much power it has, that it's going to try to remake the world in its own image. Now, what exactly does that mean? And this gets to the essence of what liberal hegemony is. My argument is liberal hegemony has three elements, the first of which is the most important. The first is to spread liberal democracy all over the world. It's to topple authoritarian regimes and replace them with liberal democracies. The second goal is to promote an open international economic order, sort of what we had in the West during the Cold War, just expand that to the entire planet. And then the third goal of liberal hegemony is to expand the institutions we have, this is think, think NATO expansion, EU expansion, and to increase the membership in those institutions. So the more countries that you get into the institutions, the more countries that you get hooked on capitalism, and the more countries that you turn into liberal democracy, the more the world looks like the United States. And the more the world looks like the United States, how could we have a better situation? And more specifically, if you spread democracy, liberal democracy across the planet, there are really two key results that liberal hegemonists focus on. One is you solve the human rights problem because liberal democracies hardly ever violate the human rights of their citizenry in major ways. It's usually authoritarian regimes that do that. So if you can spread liberal democracy across the planet, you basically take the problem of human rights violations off the table. Second, and this is an argument that many of you have heard many times, is that if you spread liberal democracy across the planet, you get peace because liberal democracies don't fight each other. And if you believe that terrorism and proliferation are big problems as well as interstate war, then creating a world that's filled with liberal democracy solves all those problems as well. So, Liberal democracy was a very ambitious foreign policy that was filled with good intentions, but ultimately failed. 